It's in this remote village of Ramjapur, in northern Bangladesh, that Tim Steeles, a British amateur archaeologist, found this mosque. In it is a monumental treasure of Islamic history, the remains of a mosque believed to be built in the 7th century. If we could prove this, it would make it the earliest mosque in South Asia because there is said to be a mosque from the lifetime of the Holy Prophet in Kerala and said to be one in China, but there's no archaeological evidence to support either of those claims. What we have here is a mosque that isn't claimed, <laughs> but actually has evidence uh, that dates it to within reach of the lifetime of the Holy Prophet. Up until now, historians believed Islam came to the region in the 12th century. The remains would prove that Muslims were in South Asia just a few years after the death of the Prophet Muhammad. These rivers were the highways of the old world. Recent archaeological research suggests that Arab traders used Bangladeshi waterways to sail up to China for trade, but also to spread the word of Islam. Villagers stumbled on this site when building a mosque. They started digging and found ancient artifacts, including a stone with Quranic scripture. The locals say authorities took them all away. They looted the site, took anything, they saw value. We never heard from them again. Why? We went to the local museum to look for the artifacts, but authorities would not let us in. A simple search on the internet may explain why. Ancient artifacts from the museum are being sold online, like these bronzes we found, sold by a broker in California for hundreds of dollars. Source, Bangladesh. We called the culture minister and made repeated requests for an interview to find out if national treasures are being sold off but he was unable to meet us or even give a statement. simple fact is that kind of art is worth a lot of money on the international market. It must be an enormous temptation in a country where a lot of people are low paid and where there's a lot of poverty. Steels is convinced there are more historical treasures here hidden beneath the earth. The Asian Development Bank has given the Bangladeshi government a 12 million dollar grant to promote archaeological sites. The muddy grounds here are ideal for excavations. But these villagers don't trust the authorities anymore. All they want is to find out how long these stones have been around and the remains of the mosque protected. Because for them, this is a sacred site. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Ramjapur, Northern Bangladesh.